Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna Lentz and today we're going to be talking about a lot. <laughs> we have cross stitch. I'm going to be sharing my Tim Burton projects with you. Um, some crochet Halloween projects. Today I'm going to be sharing a lot of birthday haul. Basically everything that I wanted for my birthday was cross stitch related. So I have a lot to share with you. I've got an FFO. I've got two finished objects and um, future stitching plans. So let's get started. I just want to say I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you have been enjoying your fall. I have been, it's been warm. Like we had a couple of cool days and then it's been warm. Um, we're supposed to be cooling down again. We've been doing really good. We um, we got the girls a play set and it's in the backyard and they love it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we live on a highway, like it's not super busy, but it's busy enough to where we would rather them be in the backyard than the front yard. And so we're excited to have something encouraging for them to go into the back. And it's like their big Christmas present, but due to COVID, like you can't, like if you see something, you buy it. Because if you sleep on it, it's not gonna be there in my opinion. And we wanted to get them this playset over the summer and they were gone everywhere. Josie's watching a movie today. So, um, so that's been really fun. We've had soccer games. I am so enjoying being at the soccer field with um, my family and watching Fiona play. She's really growing. It's really fun to watch all of the kids grow, but especially like your own kid, right? Um, let's see, I have my in-laws are coming into town Thursday night. So I'm very excited about that, but I need to like, you know, like clean your, um, you clean your fridge. I mean, I clean my fridge and I'm gonna clean my cupboards. Like I am organized to a, to a degree, but there's like a difference between like, you have, you know, your in-laws over and they open up your cupboards and it's like, Bleh. or it's like, oh, you know, I want the, oh, you know. Uh, you, you know, you know. So anyway, so I'm looking forward to that. It is actually Tuesday and I'm recording the video Tuesday and this will upload sometime this week. But if I didn't record this today, I was afraid that I wasn't gonna record it until next week and I didn't wanna do that. I have a lot to share, so let's share it today. Oh, also I had my birthday and my birthday was great. I had zero expectations for my birthday this year and it was one of the best birthdays ever. It was so wonderful. Um, where should we start? Well, let's let's go ahead and um, do previous finishes, right? Because that's what you can see in the background. So first, if you haven't already seen this, I've shared this on my website. I did this last year. Um, and this is my Beetlejuice cross stitch. So I have this as a free download on my website. Uh, and it's just Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And then I spray painted the picture frame black. It's stitched on 28 count black Joblin. I know, 28 black Joblin. And I think I use like... Um, probably the chalk by uh, Gentle Arts, because I think that I probably used whatever I had from um, the hands-on design chart that I had before. Like I stitched that red, white, and barbecue. I probably used that. So really fun, really easy, really fast. A uh, Beetlejuice project. And then I have, uh, let's see. I have my Beetlejuice blanket. So this is Sunburst Granny Square and I changed the colors. It's stitched with Red Heart Super Saver yarn and it's acrylic weight. And it's another crib size blanket that I made um, that I use for decor. And it's a great lap size blanket too. Like it, it, it does the job. Okay, I'm gonna show this. I am uploading a separate video on just Oogie Boogie, but I wanted to share him with you. This is a crocheted Oogie Boogie that I did. I think I did this this summer. I got pregnant with Jules. So, 2016. And there are, um, and the pattern for him, like you can make bugs coming out of his mouth. <laughs> I just, didn't do that. <laughs> he was actually like, in my opinion, like I remember then he was difficult to make. And then this is, um, felt there's a lot of stitching and I absolutely love him. 
he, um, he was, he, I mean, I don't know if I did this now, if I would think it was as difficult, but like looking back, I just remember he was a labor of love, but I, I love him. And then his feet are supposed to, I think, go this way, but I didn't realize I had already stitched it. So I was like, yeah, it's fine. But yeah. And then his mouth goes down really deep and it's crocheted on the inside. Like, I think this was like a crochet disc and then you stitch it on. This is the detail on this. I, I love him. Anyway, so that's Oogie Boogie. Um, oh, I also have this. Let me show you. So this is just like a, I got this base, vase, whatever for, I don't know, probably a thrift store. And then we spray painted it black. And then I put um, Dollar Tree flowers. I got these flowers this year. Those are fun. My, my daughter loves those. And then this is a ghost doily that I made last year. And I didn't display it last year, but I'm only because I think like, I, I don't know what happened. So this was a free pattern. I didn't design it. I'll share the designer in my show notes. But this was really easy and it's just uh, made using like the doily thread and everything. And this is the only doily I've made. I would really love to make a doily for Christmas this year. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen because I have a lot of projects that I want to do and um, I'm still working on Julesy's um, jacket. But that is fun. And then I, you can't see them. I got these at Michael's a couple of years ago and I love them. My kids love them. Aren't they just the cutest? And so then they sit on the shelf and then their legs dangle. Okay, this is gonna be a long video. So, previous finishes. Fun, huh? Okay, here is my pre here is my FFO, and I posted this on the Instagram, and I understand completely why Priscilla uses magnets. I cannot get this sucker to stay on. Right, right. So um, I didn't want to not show it because it's, but I'm gonna go get um, magnets, and I'm gonna put a magnet on the back and a magnet on here, and it should be a lot easier to secure it. I'm probably like, maybe I need to like acetone it and then do it. I don't know. But in theory, it sits there and it's my treat basket. And on the back side, it's like this. So I can put this on um, my table and on one side, it's got decor on one side and then it's going to have, you know, decor on the other side. It's kind of ruining it that it's not sticking on there nice, but I'm going to get magnets and it's going to be fine. Oh! See, I like this fabric a lot. I made myself a project bag with it this year. And then on the inside, it's just black. Um, have I ever said I have an Etsy store? I have an Etsy store. I'll share it right here. And um, I, I have some bags still up for sale. I haven't made very many bags lately because um, I've been doing a lot of other creative things. So I finished this yesterday and I didn't iron it, but it is the cottage from Stitching with the Housewives. Gingerbread cottage. Again, I don't have a color printer, but I'm sure you've seen this on Instagram or anywhere on the internet. And I have stitched the cottage and I stitched this on, I think 28 count Irish linen from, uh, from Charles Craft. This was in my stash. And I did not change the pattern on purpose. When I was stitching this, I miscounted my, uh, my rows on both sides. So then I was off an entire row and I wasn't going to go back on the roof. So that meant that I didn't have enough space to do the window. And that also meant that my house is not as wide. <laughs> 
So I couldn't follow the pattern exactly and I wasn't gonna rub it out. That wasn't happening. So I just modified it. And Priscilla, I love your chart the way it was. Counting is hard. <laughs> you know, nine instead of eight, it's fine. I just, you know, apparently I count one to 10 to my kids all the time. So that time my brain was like, not today. But anyway, so yeah, I just made some changes. And then I haven't filled in the house, like the, the windows, because I haven't decided if I if I want to or not. I have a, a finish for this. So I know you're probably wondering where are the gingerbread people. I'm not including them. And you'll see why when I fully finish it. I am so excited <laughs> to do the fully finishing on this. It's going to be really cool. And I think... I'm gonna like it. I hope you like it. I'm gonna like it. So, love that. That was fun. I'm having a lot of fun stitching all their stuff. Let me go get my other finish. I thought it was in here. It's not. I put this sucker like away away. I'm showing you like my unlabeled box. But it's in my box of finishes, which I'm constantly, like I have, the, ooh, that's a free chart. Don't worry about it. Um, I have it like in my box and I keep everything in plastic bags that I'm thinking I should take them all out of plastic bags. Let me show you. I finished Santa's List by Country Cottage Needleworks. And because I finished him, that's why I was able to start on the other, um, on the other project, the Christmas project that I just finished. I give myself reward systems. When your brain goes, Burr, you have to give yourself some kind of like, finish this and then you can start this. Keeps me organized. And on task, I guess. Love it. And I didn't add the French knots. Not for any other reason than I kind of err on more on the side of simple sometimes. So I just didn't. I like it the way it is. I'm very happy with that. Since I'm in here, let me show you another finish. This is Brew Ha Ha. It is a free chart. Um, a complimentary design from Plum Street Samplers. And it is on her uh, blog or website, I believe. Yeah. I love this. So I had, in my other videos, I had that orange thing and I had been meaning to fully finish it and then I wanted to put it there and I didn't get to it this year. But that is the intent is to fully finish it that way. I love it. Next year, next year. But yeah, that, that's one of my favorites too. I don't know why I haven't put that out yet. I love that. Oh, and I stitched that all in DMC too. And I think it's pretty. I love stitching things in just DMC. Um, so for whips, I only have one because I've been finishing things. Um, but it is my daughter's sweater so i in floss student number one i shared the uh crochet sweater for my seven-year-old and this is as far as i've gotten on her but if you were curious to see what this yarn works up like when well, half double crochet it color pulls like this So I need to get back on it. While my in-laws are here, I plan on working on this because I can talk and do this. Um, where I can't really talk and cross-stitch. That's how I miscounted. I was talking to my husband and I was stitching at night, which I am not a night stitcher. And let's get into my birthday haul and then we can talk about my future stitching plans. And we'll do the, the giveaway. <laughs> okay. So it was really fun because I got these packages on my birthday which was saturday so it was like super fun it was like birthday party of one but like not like a sad way like a <laughs> way anyway i placed an order with fat quarter shop and fat quarter shop like if you see uh charts on i know we all shop at one two three stitch and we shop at our, our local shops and stuff. But if you place an order with 123Stitch and you see a chart that you have been looking for, but it shows not available, Fat Quarter Shop had a lot of charts that I haven't seen readily available in other online stores. So I was happy. 
So I was placing my order with one, two, three stitch and the, some, like a chart in my cart had been deleted or said to delete it. And I went on Fat Quarter Shop and they had it. First is um, Plum Street Samplers. What is this called? For you. Oh, I really, really want to stitch him in December. I love it so much. It, the moose, my husband loves the mooses and the mises. And doesn't that just look classy? And I looked to see, and I, I got this chart in after I'd already placed my order with another local, I keep wanting to call it a local yarn shop, local needlework shop. Hmm. LNS. Anyway, and I really, like, I love DMC, don't get me wrong, but I really want to stitch this moose, um, his rack, and the sled in that specialty colorization. And if I don't, if I just am like, you know what, I can't get the, the thread that I need, I'll just stitch it in DMC and, and it'll be beautiful. You know how I feel about that. But I really do like the var variegation. But also I think I wanna pick out the one that I buy in person and not have it shipped because I feel like if I get my yarn, my thread shipped, sometimes it's like, have this one. It's You, you can't pick it because it's, you know, anyway, I'm not even gonna go there. Shouldn't Shouldn't say anything. Oh, I got uh, acid-free, double-sided, oh, stitch tape. I wonder if I could just slab this on and finish my project that way without having to get magnets and if it would stick. I'm gonna get magnets anyway, I think, but maybe not, we'll see. I'll let you know, I'll, cut, I'll get back to you. But yeah, I got this. She uh, she did a tutorial, Fat Quarter Shop did a tutorial on how she finished her cross stitch in a frame with this tape and I thought, oh, I like that. I wanna try it. For $4, I got a pair of these green scissors. I have a gold pair and I just wanted like a Christmas colored pair. So I got that. Lastly from Fat Quarter Shop, I got um, I wanted to get winter and spring charts because I am stitching Christmas now. And then once Christmas is here, besides, besides this, which I see myself stitching on during the Christmas season, I am ready to start, um, winter and spring. So that way I have stuff and I don't really have really any winter decor. Um, I don't like to keep up the Christmas stuff past Christmas. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to put it away and start the new year. But I realized this year, like, I don't have anything. Like, I'm not, I put spring out way too early, and then I get it. Anyway, so I want to bulk up my, my winter decor for those six to seven weeks. And I also wanted to go ahead and start on my uh, Easter and spring stitching, so that way I had it ready to put out when the season came about, instead of stitching it during the season, just because I don't have that stuff stitched. So I got this. What are you called? Spring Gathering. Love it. So I got that from Fat Quarter Shop. And then I placed, I placed a big order with one, two, three stitch. Um, because uh, I, I get a lot of charts. I get charts from my local needle workshops, but I really like buying my thread, like my specialty threads at the local needle workshop. And I also really like buying like my linen and getting it cut or whatever at the local needle workshop. So I do support my needle workshops. I, and you'll see, I buy charts from them, but I also, um, I save some money. Yeah. For one, two, three, six sometimes too. No shade, no shade, please. Okay. I'm so excited. I got a, a lot of things that I've wanted for a long time, but I couldn't. I didn't justify to myself like just buying it. So like for my birthday, I was like, yes. So first of all, okay. So I got this chart and I've wanted it for a long time and I'm excited to start collecting everything for it. And it is Let Freedom Ring by Lila Studio. And I know you guys have seen this a lot, um, but I always wanted it and I am fully prepared for this to take me five, 10 years to complete. But once it's completed, I want to frame it and it will be an heirloom for my family, hopefully. They don't throw it away. No, I don't think they will. 
but this is the kind of stuff that I want to leave to my family. I have like homemade things and furniture and all that other stuff. Like, you know, they can just sell it. But this kind of stuff, I hope that they hold on to. And so I really would like this for my family. Um, let freedom ring. Love it. Happy to have that. Next. Next. Okay, I saw this and I, I had to have it. It is a sampler by the Scarlet House and it is Mary Kemp, 1862. Okay, if I have no idea if this has anything to do with the Civil War, but it was stitched during the time that the Civil War is happening and I am a Civil War nerd up, up, just a lot. So I love this and it's, I love the colors. I love the bird. I love the saying. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come, not nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I've had no pleasure in them. Mary Kemp finished this work April 1862, aged 10 years. Oh. My dummy. <laughs> Oh man. So this is my first pattern by the Scarlet House and I love it. I've already looked at the chart. It, it looks really easy to follow. And I love that bird. I love the colors. This is the color of my house. I, I like these cool colors. Love them. And I already have the DMC for this. So I'm ready to rock and roll. So when I go to the Silver Needle, which is my local needle workshop, I will buy the, the linen for this. Okay, I have never purchased Blackbird Design charts and I've loved them and I am so excited. Okay, first, this, I wanna stitch this for winter. There is somebody on Instagram, I'll put her name here, and she is stitching this and I was like, girl, that is in my car right now. I have so been loving watching her stitch this. These are my colors. I love this for winter. This will absolutely look good in my house. So, and that's that's where I'm transitioning. Like, I like the cutesy because I think that's really fun. I like stitching that. But I also, like, I really want to stitch stuff that I can have in my house, like, for decor instead of buying other decor, except for antiques. There's always a reason to buy antiques because it's history. But, um, and country. But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video on its own. So, I, that leads me to this purchase and blossom at and blossom as a rose the colors in this book are this is this is my style yeah this with a little bit of country craft oh yeah that yeah for spring are you kidding well all year long we would look at in my house but um definitely for spring and the finishing instructions that they give are awesome. I'm excited to learn a lot from this book too, because this is this is happening. This is the back of it. And it says that this wonderful Quaker sampler is the inspiration for all the pro projects in our booklet. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. It's beautiful. And then I got Sweet Land of Liberty, five patriotic cross-stitch projects. I've seen this a lot on all of the social media for cross-stitch. And I was very happy to put this into my collection. I love everything patriotic. I think patriotic in my house can stay up all year long. Well, I don't think. It does. I have patriotic stuff right now. And I have to say, like, there are things in here that I haven't seen besides, like, floss tube and stuff. And then seeing them just in the book, like, this close is just, like... So pretty. I get it. I get the height for Blackbird. And again, their finishing instructions are really cool. Just. I mean, it's just so pretty. So I'm very happy with those purchases. Blackbird Designs, I'm coming for you 2021. And then I have two more charts to share with you from one, two, three stitch. So I got, um, I got the one that started it all. Honestly, this was in my car first. And, um, the companion piece is the one that I had found on, 
uh, that corner shop. I love this bunny. I know that some people don't like the pipe. I think it's so fun. I love it. I'm definitely keeping that. I think it's nostalgic and I love it. So definitely want to finish this one for 2021. Um, we'll see on this one. We'll see how much time I have for stitching if I get the companion piece done. But uh, I didn't say what it was. Spring delivery, scattered seed samplers. I just, and the colors again, very much my colors, yellow, blue, green. And lastly, I got Mrs. Bunny Tail by Brenda Gervais. And uh, so she has, if you don't know, um, she has a lot of different characters that she has finished her cross stitching into. And I love it. I, I like the design number one, but uh, more than anything, I was drawn to the finishing of it and I wanted to challenge myself and do that. Um, I think that's absolutely so cool. Yeah, I don't know what that tongue thing was, <laughs> excuse me. But anyway, yeah, love it. And I already looked and she gives you like really cool instructions. Cool. Instructions are so cool. She gives you good detailed instructions to finish it. So I'm really excited to challenge myself with that. I love, love that. Okay, lastly, I just got this in today. So I'm really excited to share. I got the three most recently released Christmas patterns by Stitching with the Housewives. So there is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And I just finished the Santa's List by Country Cottage Needlework. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing the whole thing or I can see myself doing the ornament. And maybe I will do the whole thing, but not, not this year. I love this, so I think this is really cool. If I hadn't already done Country Cottage Needleworks, I might, but I, or I might just do both. But I really love it. I think there are definitely pieces of this that you could um, stitch on its own and make really cool ornaments. Like, he would be such a cool little ornament. And by the way, have you seen the sneak peek of Brenda Gervais' little mouse that she's supposed to be releasing for Christmas? Her design has something like this with the ornaments too, and I think it's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. Um, next is Up on the Housetop. And this sucker is big. It's like nine by nine and a half. But I love this. I want to stitch the whole thing. Um and challenge myself and stitch the whole thing. But there's also other pieces of this that I would totally stitch by themselves. I would stitch the chickens with a sign. I would stitch the truck as an ornament. I would try to figure out something with the Santa and the, and the chickens. Like the Santa, I mean, honestly for me, like I love it, but the chickens that they're incorporating, you had me at a hello. You had me at, okay, you know? You know, this is candy cane hoop. Hoop, candy cane coop. Picture isn't as good uh, on this one, but I'm sure you've seen it on her Instagram. I'm doing weird things in my video today. I'm like, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. So, <laughs> excuse me in this video. My stomach's making weird noises. I'm a mess. So this one I'm starting today. I'm so excited. Lastly, I just bought this. Okay. She's wearing a tank top. She wanted to wear a tank top. I'm like, girl, it's like one of the last days you can. And I'm wearing a sweatshirt because I wasn't going to film what I was wearing earlier. So I was like, slap a sweatshirt on. <laughs> anyway, I saw this at Walmart and I thought, oh, look at you. It's like that oatmeal color, which I have for, like I bought it years ago. But like, I don't want to use it. It's like precious. Uh, you know, I don't know. So this is called DMC Charles Craft Carolina Linen Needlework Fabric. It's 15 by 18 inches. This sucker was $5.99. It's just, I don't want to get out of its package. Can you see that? Okay. So anyway, so this is what I want to work on is I want to work on candy cane coop. Okay. And I have the 2020 Prairie Schooler Santa all kitted up. Okay. And I got the khaki putty. What is it called? Ah. <laughs> 18 count putty khaki Davos. 
I don't know. It makes me think of Dave, Game of Thrones. So I don't know. I've never stitched on this before. So that's what that's going on. And I stole an 844 DMC out of here. But then these are the colors. So you haven't. I'm, I must be missing a white too. There's no way. I'm missing a white. Anyway. So here's what I want to do. Is I... I want to do a stitch along. See, I bought this at the Silver Needle. Um, I want to do a stitch along for this starting November 1st to December 1st. I don't want to do a stitch along that runs forever, just, just for the month of November. So if you have this chart, okay, so that's decided, right? Like, I'm not going to stitch this yet. I'm going to start this on November 1st, the day after Halloween, which should be Sunday. Yeah, Halloween's on Saturday. Um, so this... Our stitch along for Prairie Schooler 2020 Santa will start November 1st. Um, and I will be uploading another uh, floss tube before that. And I will share more details. Uh, so let that will bring me into today's giveaway and the previous giveaway. So let me pause here and I'll be right back. Okay, so giveaway time. I'm gonna put here the winner. Um, so thank you so much for commenting down below. I really appreciated everybody's comments. I loved reading them. I loved commenting back. I like the community a lot and I love that. So the giveaway, you won, what is this called? Naughty or Nice by Hands On Design. I passed the stash. I stitched this. I loved it. And I also said that I would cut off the rest of my hand dyed Ada and I would send this along. So um, go ahead and leave a comment down below that you are the winner and I will send you my email and we can, uh, hopefully you will feel comfortable sending me your address and I will get this mailed out to you immediately. So congratulations. Thank you so much for participating. Um, okay. So I have two of these actually. So I have this one, this one's going to be mine and I have a second one that I accidentally bought twice. So um, this is going to be the giveaway, which will be, um, either at the very end of October or yeah, it will, it'll be before November. It'll be at the end of October. Um, because I want to give this away and I want to get this out in the mail and I want to get the, the, the stitch along started. I've never done a stitch along, so be patient with me. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to stitch this together if you want to. Like, I'm cool with the party of one, but I hope you guys want to participate. And we're going to stitch um, 2020 Santa. So get your materials. Um, I will draw a winner for this in my next video, which will be at the end of October. And we will start this November 1st. So if you have this, let's get this finished and uh, on our tree or in our decorations for 2020. We can do this, guys. Like, there's more than enough time. We're going to give ourselves a month because that does kind of look like a lot of stitching, but... It's going to be fun. I love the rabbits and this, oh, this is so fun. It's like, it cracks me up so much. I love that. Okay. So is that everything? I'm going to abruptly insert myself here because I didn't say what to do <laughs> for the giveaway. Please be a subscriber to my channel. Like my video. Um, please share me across your social media. You don't have to do that. But if you did that, like if you could tell a friend to subscribe to my channel, like that'd be so fun. Like I would really appreciate it because we're trying to get to 500 and I have a really cool giveaway set up for that. If we reach 500 also comment down below, are you a person who waits until after Thanksgiving to decorate or do you just say, screw it? You're going to decorate when you want. What kind of, what kind of a decorator are you this year? I'm not waiting until after Thanksgiving because I think it's like four weeks and that's just not enough time. I want it up for longer, I think. We'll see. But that's my plan for now. My husband's like, really? I think so. I think mid-November. That's my guesstimation. But I don't know. Life changes fast, so we'll see how it goes. But for right now, that's my plan. So go ahead and comment down below. Um, thank you for participating. And, okay, if I haven't said this already, I... I got excited to film. Um, thank you so much for being with me today and, you know, spending your time with me while you're stitching or you're cooking or whatever um, and investing your time with me. I really, really value your time because there's only so much time in a day. And I really just 
I'm so thankful to all of my new followers on Instagram and all of your creativity that you share on all of our platforms. I just, it's very inspiring and I just want to say thank you. And, um, you know, I hope that you're having a great week and I hope that you have a lot to look forward to in the upcoming weeks. And I will see you guys in the next projects. I have a lot of videos that I'm uploading, uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I encourage you to check those out too. Cause I just like sharing a lot I like my editing. I just, that I enjoy it. I don't do that for, for any other reason than one, I forget to say things half the time. So it helps me insert that. And two, it's another creative outlet for me and I really like it. And I get to insert more of my humor that sometimes I shy away from because I can get a little bit much for <laughs> people. So, you know, anyway, I just, so thank you again. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great couple of weeks if I don't see you sooner. And I'm going to break the wrist and walk away now. Bye. <laughs>